In Space Race, players represent space agencies in a competition to push their affiliated nation or industry furthest into the future. Unlike a typical Tableau Builder, players will need to address shifting priorities in order to maximize scoring each round, and must be systematic in how they manipulate propaganda and technology in the universe. Space program developments and breakthroughs will offer additional challenges and benefits that could help advance missions. Contributing to projects will be a necessary task as well. Will building our space agencies be as exciting as landing on the moon? I'm surprised you put it out, it didn't take it. Or will the experience fizzle out on the launch pad? This table's about to go <laughs> flying across the room. I know it weighs like 700 pounds or something. Find out now as we show you how it plays. Hi and welcome, I'm your host Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're playing Space Race. We sure are. Yes. <laughs> so we've um, we've gone ahead and set up Space Race for two players. And we're playing with the Cold War expansion. Which you can tell because we have giant ships. Giant rocket ships. So uh, <laughs> we're going to go through the game setup. Yes. We're going to go through a quick overview mm -hmm. of the turn structure. Yeah. Um, the round structure. And then we're going to get right to it. Yeah, sounds good. All right, so take a look at the table. <laughs> our sideways table. Here is our sideways board. Now, this board is sideways because it is just too tall to be to be placed vertically on camera. Right. Uh, or you will be squinting at the screen the entire time. We have set you up with uh, with a vertical orientation that hopefully will give you uh, kind of a view of, of the cards and things. But we'll see. Hopefully that's helpful. Yeah, but for the most part, most of the coverage will be sideways. Unfortunately, yeah. that's just something that... You're going to have to live with, unfortunately. <laughs> this board goes all the way to the moon. But keep in mind, we're playing it sideways, too. Yeah. So if we can yes. play it sideways, I think so you guys can. can you. you can watch it as well. We should all get through just fine. Uh, so in Space Race, this is a, a tableau builder, but a, a, in, in a slightly different way than what you would expect yeah, a tableau yeah, builder yeah. to be. Um, it's not sort of a set it and forget it tableau because it evolves every round. Exactly, yeah. Um, and it doesn't fire off every round, which most tableaus do. Yeah, it's not the typical engine builder that you might expect yep. with, with your traditional tableau. And we also have some area control, a few different actually area yeah. control components uh, to this game. So. All right, so, cool. so we'll, we'll kind of go over sort of the, uh, the layout of the board, mm -hmm. what's going on here. Uh, we'll touch on the setup. Yeah. for Cold War, right. uh, how it differs from the standard setup, and then we're going to jump into it. So go ahead and, and take, yeah, us, I'll take, take us you, around, take the around the board. Take us on a tour. <laughs> take us on this blueprint of a board. Mm -hmm. So uh, so the first thing that you'll notice is that the, the score tracker, the victory point track, this is our progress track, mm -hmm. and we're actually going to be um, moving up in years. So our progress in this game is going to be tracked by how far into the future we can get with our uh, with our space agency. Yep. So that'll <clears> be our victory point track. Uh, we have our projects, so if you want to start down here, that are going to come out. These are going to be different uh, every single game. Uh, we have five different types of projects. You're going to shuffle them. They're going to come out uh, randomly each game. Uh, but what's important to note is that on the open projects, and there may be several throughout the game, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to, it's going to kind of guide like what kind of cards we want to take, um, this one, for example, that we're starting the game with, it's going to allow us to uh, put astronauts out on this project for every uh, technology banner that we, that we gain. So we'll explain how that works uh, as we get to it. Um, you'll see we start with some astronauts out here already in the standby areas of these projects. I'm not going to go over that right now. We'll I'll talk, talk about, about that when we go we through there. the setup, yeah. Um, we have our mission here, and now your mission is also going to change every game, or it could change every game, but the structure of the mission is going to be uh, exactly the same. Now, we've chosen the Apollo mission, mm -hmm. which is unique to the Cold War expansion. Yep. We've kind of gone back and forth. We've played a lot of different missions. We decided on this one uh, because we won't be playing with the AI this time. It'll just be the two of us, and this one works really well with, uh, with just the two. We have our deck of cards here, which we'll be drawing from, and then we have our unexplored universe. Now, how this is different from a normal tableau builder is that you have your hand of cards, and typically you're going to be playing cards into your tableau, not in Space Race. So in this game, you're going to be playing cards actually into the unexplored universe every mm -hmm. round, 
potentially. And then those cards are going to come out here into the universe, which is the offer for all players. So there's some strategy there in what kind of cards am I going to bring out? Uh, how am I going to actually obtain those cards before somebody else does? So we'll get into all of that. The universe here, like I said, is our offer. We have four different types of cards that will come out. We have propaganda cards, technology cards, space program cards, and breakthroughs. And, and we'll... the setup here wasn't <laughs> intentional, by the way, to have one of each type. It wasn't, no. This, this is, is actually not... <laughs> like the first time this has happened in like five or six games yeah. of this. Um, that we, because you, you draw the first four off the deck and you right. put them where they belong. So yeah. it, you don't, the, the setup is yeah, always this never happens. like this. So... Yeah. <laughs> but how, what, how perfect for Yeah, this is great for the playthrough. Yeah. Um, so down here uh, in our breakthroughs is what I'll focus on right now because we have this other thing down here called a breakthrough tracker. Mm. Most of your breakthrough cards are going to allow you to put astronauts out on the breakthrough uh, tracker and the breakthrough areas over here the zones so we have a launch pad here where you actually start your setup with an astronaut yep. and then we have four zones uh, we have uh, like reaching for the stars thematically mm -hmm. we have a man in space we have uh, planetary uh, exploration yeah, and then we have um, and, like um, our extraterrestrial yep. life section. So these are really uh, zones for area control, we'll be vying for control in these areas and scoring them according to our mission, mm -hmm. um, which each round in our mission, we're going to be scoring something different. So um, that's pretty much it for the board. Uh, we have an investments area over here where we'll have to kind of trash cards mm -hmm. occasionally, like pay for things with cards. That was a go to investments, and um, and that's pretty much it for the setup. Okay, so once we start playing, the game is going to go uh, through seven rounds, yeah. and each phase, each round is one piece of the mission, and you're just going to traverse up, and then once you complete it, you flip it over, and mm -hmm. then so at the end of the seven rounds, you know each round is going to indicate which type of scoring we're going to do. And then it's going to flip. And there's four types of scoring. You're going to score your, um, you're going to score the projects. Mm -hmm. You're going to score your uh, agenda, or well, your, yeah, your banner, basically your agency your, banners, yeah. which is sort of like your agency agenda. You're going to score your laboratory, which we'll talk about later. And you're going to score the uh, area control within the breakthrough tracker. Um, the game goes through um, different phases. So each round, we're going to be developing our agency mm -hmm. and then managing the agency but essentially what it is is putting cards out into the universe drafting one card each playing our uh, control card so each of us has 12 control cards mm -hmm. um, that in this setup are unique to each of the nations so uh, we have co uh, cold war cards mm -hmm. that are specific to okay. this setup um, and they are replacing one of each of the normal type cards uh, that represent. So you normally have three of each type of card, uh, and they do like various things. But what these cards essentially let you do is draft from, from that, that, section. that yeah. respective section as you play it into your uh, agency for that round. And you're going to play a, a control card every round in secret, and that will be the action you're allowed to take mm -hmm. for that round only. You can't do anything else besides mm -hmm. that. Um, then it will trigger potentially anything in your space agency tableau. Um, and then at the end, we're going to check the uh, projects mm -hmm. and the missions and then move on to the next round. So it does move pretty quickly it does, once yeah. it gets rolling. Uh, yeah. The only time um, that's really that can slow it down is when you're really trying to figure out what cards you want to play versus what um, cards you want to draft and get into your tableau and then resolving your tableau. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, that's pretty much the flow of the game. You're trying to end the game with the highest progress in years, mm -hmm. and you're going to earn that through the scorings done on the mission cards every round. Yes. That's really it. Um, and I think we can go over the rest. Yeah, as we play. As we play. Yeah. So another thing for the special. So with the Cold War setup, it's got these special rockets. <laughs> right. The other rockets are like this. They're teeny tiny. They're tiny. Uh, you've got the fifth project. So the base game only comes with four types of projects. So for the setup, you're going to actually draw two of one project mm -hmm. randomly to add to make your fifth. But in the Cold War expansion, you're going to have a fifth, which is good. This mission, the Apollo mission, is unique to the Cold War. Mm -hmm. um, so we're playing with that. You cannot play this mission with the AI. Yeah, which solo. means you can't solo it. Yeah. Can't solo it. Um, or with the AI. You can play it with multiple AIs if you want, mm -hmm. just not with this mission. Right. Um, ad I, additionally, we're doing what's called thematic setup, which is not your bog standard setup. Mm -hmm. So that includes having your astronauts set out on in the standby area of projects, which normally you wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. um, and each of us has a different setup. 
as well as, like I showed you earlier, the different control cards in our deck. Outside yeah. of that, everything else is going to be the same. But I think, with that said, I've got, I start with three cards. Mm -hmm. I'm starting with four. I start with four. We start with one card in the Explored Universe. We're going to skip drawing cards in the first round. So we're going to go right ahead and jump into playing cards mm -hmm. um, into the Explored Universe. And then we'll explain the rest of it as we go. So you ready? All right, I'm ready. Okay, so this is done simultaneously. It doesn't yes. matter. And you can put as many cards as you want into the Explored Universe. Uh, or you, you put none, or you could put your entire hand in there. It really depends on what you want to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to put one out there to start. I am going to put two. Two cards. All right, so with um, two a two player, player. Okay. so <laughs> here's the thing. There needs to be a certain amount of cards in the Unexplored Universe um, to satisfy the requirements. The requirements are number of players plus one. So there always need to be three cards by the end of this phase. Mm -hmm. uh, there are four, so we're good. If there's not, then we'll just add one from the deck. So you don't have to play cards into the right. Unexplored Universe but if you don't want to. There will always be three out there, regardless of how many. So if we if we put none out there, then you would draw three from the deck. And, because it needs you need to have cards coming out to the universe, right, in the offer. Um, because it, and, and why would you do that? Because you need cards in hand to do certain things as well, uh, which you'll see later. But what we do now is we reveal a number of cards um, depending on player count. With two players, you're only going to reveal one. With three mm -hmm. players, you would reveal two. So the first card is Project Gemini, and it's coming out as Space Program. You add them to the universe from left to right in available yeah. spaces. If there's no available space, you start putting them on top of cards furthest left. Um, so that is a one card out now there's three more cards but we do not reveal them yet yeah this just gives you a taste of what's coming out um, because we don't know what each other has put in and we don't know what actually is in the offer because right now right. we have to decide yeah the only thing that we know is in the offer is what we put in there that right. didn't come out that didn't come out and now you have to decide of your 12 cards which one are you going to play for the first round mm -hmm. um, this will be potentially the only time you get to play this card and this what the cards really do is they allow you to to draft a card from the universe and put it in your agency. Mm -hmm. But of that specific type, so which one right. do you want? So I'm going to see what they actually do. Oh, okay, I know what that one is. Interesting. I'm not loving these cards, but mm -hmm. they're okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't love them, but I'll, but I'll take them. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to do that. I'll open up with that and see how that goes. Oh, boy. Here goes everything. Um, okay, so what I can do is I'll play that card. Okay. So now we're going to start building our tableaus from left to right. You're going to have the card you played, and then your your agency is going to actually start building out this way with mm -hmm. cards we draft. So now that we've uh, picked our cards, we're going to start revealing these. So we've got the uh, Armstrong coming out. out. Nice. We've got another space program coming out with the Vega program. Mm -hmm. We've got the first Venus landing coming out. Mm. All right, so number of breakthroughs um, and a pretty good amount of space programs. Mm -hmm. But because uh, breakthroughs normally don't come out. Yeah, I know. Um, so now That's we great. reveal our control cards. Ah, ah. see, I was going to do breakthrough. I'm glad I didn't. Okay. So you are doing great. the space, so space program. program. So the way that you resolve these, if you're playing with a lot of people too, you want to make sure you everybody knows what everybody got mm -hmm. um, and then you work your way down from propaganda to technology space program then breakthroughs uh, we chose different things uh, but if we had both chosen space program for example the higher number has initiative so mm -hmm. that's where the uh, the changes with uh, I'm playing Soviets and you're playing NASA right so right. Uh, come into play as well so I'm gonna do space program and I have a couple of icons here on my card. The first one for all of these cards is, is going to let you take a card from the universe of that type into your tableau. In this case, I have another icon, and these can be activated in any order that you want. Um, this icon allows me to take two cards from the deck and put them in my hand, or take cards from my hand and put them in the lab, uh, or like do one of each. And I think that's what I might do, actually. Um, so I'll start by taking a card. I'm going to take this. Project Gemini mm -hmm. into my agency, manned spaceflight. Um, and you'll see that that has like a teal banner. 
uh, which I can't do anything with right now. <laughs> but later on, if I were to play a technology card, and then that would activate. So I will take, I'm going to split this up, and I'll take one into my hand. Oh. <laughs> and I will put this card into my lab. And I guess I'll just put my lab up here for now. Mm -hmm. Your lab cards are not really, they're just going to score points for you. So yep. they can just go over here, face up, whatever. Okay, so that's, that, that's really the end of our turn. So yep. now it goes to me because it just keeps going, going down the line. It goes to breakthrough. So that's what I played. So I get to basically take a breakthrough card. So I'll take, I'll take this breakthrough card, the first Moon River. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, oh. I like this one. The first Venus <laughs> landing. So what this is going to do is I put that one out. immediately, so it has an instant immediate action. So with that little explanation point, mm -hmm. it says immediately place two astronauts from my agency mm -hmm. onto the launch pad. Aren't you happy you got that yeah, this time? Yeah, that is great. Are you happy I put that out for you? Uh, no, I'm so sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised you put it out and didn't take it. Um, mm -hmm. But that's it. So that happens. So basically all I could do is draft a card from there. And mm -hmm. then that instant happens. Now there's other things that are going to happen. Yeah. So now after breakthroughs, it goes to bureaucracy. And uh, at the end of your turn, you oh, want to yeah. check that project. Actually, did you want to do that too? I don't get to because I didn't play a purple. I played a purple No, card. I mean, you get to put your workers on. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're so right. I'm sorry. So let me do that first. So the way that this works is uh, you're going to take at the end of your turn, you have to take anybody you have in standby and put them on projects. Mm -hmm. So this, these two workers are going to go out here. When I place my first worker or my first astronaut, they have to go out onto one of the blue arrows. They can't start on one of these white arrows. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the next astronaut that I place has to go immediately adjacent or the next available adjacent space. So, um, so that's going to work like this. I can put out a, the guy here on the two, and then I can put a guy right here on the one. Well, what it's saying is put an astronaut on this card, uh -huh. right, for every teal banner and uh -huh. red banner. Level. You, you played a teal level no, card. I Oh, yeah, you're right. So I did. Two. I did. I did. I did. So you yeah, get to put yeah, two yeah. more astronauts out that's here. That's right. Thank you. Well, that might change. You know, even though I actually. played a red card, it doesn't have a banner on it. It doesn't. Yeah, you're so right. I don't get to so place you won't any get to do that. Some of these, it is just about the card, in mm -hmm. which case you'll see the card icon. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you're right. This is about banners. Yeah, um, not, not I think cards. I'll actually. <sighs> but when is this going to close? This is not going to close for two more rounds. It's going to be out for a while, huh? Yeah, maybe I'll start here. I'll do that then, because I'm going to bring these guys out anyway. One, two. Boop. There you go. All right, so you have to start. They're all moonwalking. Too. When you when you place a uh, an astronaut on a card for the on a on a project for the mm -hmm. first time, it has to go on one of these blue arrow spaces first, mm -hmm. and then every astronaut has to be placed in the next available space to the right of it. Yep. Following the path. Yeah. Once you fill it up to the end, it's complete. Um, and that's the only way it scores. Yeah. So hopefully. So you actually are not going to. I'm not going to be able to put any out because I don't satisfy any of that. Cool. Um, but that's it. Now you can do your bureaucracy. Now we go to bureaucracy. Bureaucracy s resolves in reverse turn order. So turn order is always order of um, progress. Mm -hmm. So I am going to do bureaucracy first. So I can either put an astronaut on the launch pad or move one astronaut from this breakthrough tracker area, which includes mm -hmm. this launch pad, into an area out yeah. here. So I will put one here. Cool. And then um, this one, if I'm dedicated, which You're would not. say on my yeah. uh, my control card, I would get to move another guy, but I'd, I'm not dedicated. So yeah. that ends that, and that ends the round. Cool. So now we resolve missions. Yes. So first mission uh, symbol says open up the next project. Mm -hmm. So we're going to open up this project. And I will say there's a lot of iconography in this game. Mm -hmm. It is actually very intuitive. Once you learn it, it's... Yes. It makes a lot of sense. All right. So. so just so you know, the first project is called the TMK, Heavy Interplanetary Spacecraft. Mm -hmm. The second project is called the Pioneer Program. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put uh, put a space program when we put card. space programs card in our agency. Like you just did. Yep. You would get to put, for every one of those, you get to put a worker up here or an cool. astronaut up here. Yeah. Um, so then that is it. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing is resolve the bands. So yeah. based on your control card, this would be red for me. Every red band in my agency with numbers on it, I would get points. Right. Progress points for each one of those. And you neither of us match up. So, um, which Seldom typically happens do first, first round. round yeah. So there you go. Flip that over. Cool. Ends the first round. Mm -hmm. Now we go on to the second. And it's very simple. We start out by drawing a card each, one goes into the unexplored universe. 
And then we do the same thing. We're going to put cards in the unexplored universe. Hmm. Mm. <coughs> I'll put one out there. I like this one. Hmm. I don't know. I'm put this up there. Okay. So we are going to, we have three, so we're good. I'll shuffle these up. Draw one, place it out. And we have Alexei Lenov. Hmm. Leonov. A cosmonaut. All right, so we got two more to go, but we're going to have to place our agendas. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Tough, right? Mm-hmm. Especially because I forgot what I put out. <laughs> so that's not good. Youch. Um, mm, this is rough. Yeah, see, that's not great. Yeah, some of these are, are not ideal. Um, yeah, I'm not liking this. I guess I could do that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is rough, huh? It's it's very rough. I'm gonna do because this because I know what I want to do. Um. Yeah. I guess I'll. I'm gonna do this. This might be a bad idea. Let's okay. See. Ready? Hold on. No, okay. not yet. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, Mirror Space Station. It's a good one. And we have. Heavenly Palace. All right, reveal. I'm doing propaganda. Okay, I'm doing space program. So you're up first. Okay, I go first. Propaganda to start. You're so doing I'm, a lot of space program right now. I'm going to take the leader card over there. If you don't this mind one? handing that to me. Okay. So you're only allowed to have one leader card, and it has a little symbol on it in mm -hmm. your tableau or in your agency. So I'm going to put him here, and it will trigger his mm -hmm. yellow ability, yeah. which is move somebody in my breakthrough areas to the search for extraterrestrial yeah, life. Yeah, that's great. We'll do that. Now, because it's on the right side of the card, it gets covered up and you can only use it once. Yep. So you just take any other card in your tableau and just cover it. Cool. Um, and that's all for him. Okay. Um, you do get um, an astronaut on the first project. So you put your astronaut in standby because I brought a card out with two. Actually, you get three. And wow, I get three of them. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. So I had two blue. That was like the perfect card. Yeah, that's really great. Um, so I get three out here now at the end of my turn, which is now I get to place them here. So I have to start in the blue area, but then the next two can go into the white. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can finish this one off. All right, your go. Yeah, it's not closing yet, but mm -mm. it will be. Oh, yikes. This didn't, this didn't go as planned at all. <laughs> this is terrible. Um, all right, so I'm going to I guess take this guy. It's like the only one I can take. <laughs> I don't like it. Mm -mm. I don't love this. Um it's not okay. It's not. It's not going to help me now, but it'll help me later. So it is a red banner. I do get mm -hmm. to put some astronauts out, which is Two, good. Yeah. So I get to put guy one away. And guy there. So we might actually finish if that I don't, project. Like, stab myself with these giant rockets. I know. <laughs> I kind of wasted my dedicated card, but whatever. Okay. That's it. Yeah, that's all I can do. 
Okay, so we are now down to bureaucracy, so I get to trigger it first. So if I'm dedicated, which I am, because this propaganda mm -hmm. card says my factor is dedicated, I get to uncover this card, so that becomes active Great, again for yeah. a future round. And if I'm dedicated, I may move an astronaut to the s search for habitable planets or something. Is like that? my strategy working for you now? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's it. Do you have any um, no, I don't bureaucracy? Have bureaucracy. Nope. So now we go to the mission. So we check mission. So we're going to open up the next program mm -hmm. project. It is. Oh, we didn't put our people out on this oh, project. Oh, you know what? We didn't. Yeah. You, I went first. And actually, yeah, you go first. Because I was propaganda. So. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So I will go. I'll just go here and here. Okay. Boom, boom. All right. Where would you like to go? Um, well, I played a space program card. So, oh, so you got, so oh I wow. We forgot all sorts of stuff on that one. Yeah. Um, and I will put, where are we? Um, we're a couple rounds away. I'm looking at, so we're going to close, we're closing this. Next round, we're going to close that. And then the following round. So we have like two rounds left. Mm -hmm. Um, but how many more space agency cards are we going to play? Do not you know what I mean? Not too many. Probably not many. So I'm just going to do this. You're going to go right for yep. it, huh? I'm just going to well, make you, sure we. Wow, well, you're yep. going to complete it. I am. All right, that's cool. You can still put one there. I can. <laughs> okay, now you can open that. Sorry. All right. Okay, so we have the Istribital Sputnik. Sputnik. So put any um, technology, technology or space program cards in your agency, you get to cool. fill this one out. Okay. All right, so that was open up a project. Now you get to score lab. I have nothing in my lab. I have one. So you get one point per oh. lab card. Dink. A short scoring round. Yeah. Right, and now we're ready for the next round. All right. All right. So draw your card and let us decide here. Interesting. Hmm. They're kind of meh. Yeah, they're kind of like I'm not putting any out. great. Not putting any out. Not having it. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't really want to put any of these out either. Uh, maybe I will. <clears throat> this one's good, but you gotta pay for it. You're gonna pay for it. You're gonna pay for it. I'll put this guy out there. Why not? Okay. All right. So we have two cards in here, so which we means need we need to add one. one. Shuffle them up. And what are we bringing out? All right. Project eight sixty three. Oh, looks like somebody's going for that. <laughs> and what are we doing? Oh, I know exactly what I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, that's right. Ouch. These aren't great. Yeah, and like none of this is really great here. I mean, I don't know, I guess I'll do this. Yeah, I guess I'll play that one. I love it, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, I kind of don't love it. <laughs> okay, let me put the rest of these out. Sometimes the cards just aren't there. Wow, another one. Not so much propaganda. I know. There's always so much propaganda. Are you ready? Yeah. Propaganda. No. Wow. All right. Um, you can push them. Yeah, all I know. Together. That way they can see. I know, so I know you like to know what I've played. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I'll ask for it later. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to go in order. So it looks like I'm going first with Space Program. Yeah. All right. So... What do I want here? That's the million dollar question. 
See, this is kind of a bad card for me, but not necessarily yet. Mm. So I'm going to do this first, where I can take two cards either from there into my hand or from my hand into here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to draw one and then place one into my lab. Yeah. Place that one in my lab. It didn't help me. So uh, I was hoping that I could trigger that, which is mm -hmm. taking a uh, technology card from your lab yeah. and putting it in your agency, Right. which is a nice card to, to be able to leverage. But um, yeah, see, these are all take from your lab. I know. That's why which is been not great. You know what, though? I'll flip it. I'll put this in my lab then because I have to take one of these cards mm -hmm. and they're all kind of silly. Mm -hmm. But that one's actually take one if you're dedicated, but I'm not dedicated. So I'll take you. So put that here mm -hmm. for later. Put your astronaut out. Right. So I got uh, red. So I only get to put one because there's not enough room. So I'll put them here because I played a mm -hmm. red banner card. I also played a rocket yep. card, so I can put another one here. And I'll another put one here. here. And another one here. So I've got three here. So I can go one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Look at all those astronauts out there. The yeah, projects. we're really uh, contributing to the, the greater cause. All right. So I will... Hmm. Now, see, this is interesting because, again, what I could do is this. I'll walk you through what I'm thinking, right? Mm -hmm. I also, I'm triggering breakthrough, but I also have this put um, universe cards into your lab. Mm -hmm. And if I wanted to, oh, I don't think I do. It's initiative value rounded up, so you get to do yeah, one Yeah, so card. I could do one. Mm -hmm. Like, if I wanted to, I could put this in my lab mm -hmm. instead of taking it. And then as my breakthrough card, because there would be no breakthrough cards, I could take one of these. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, if you don't want the first moon rover. Yeah, exactly. But I do want the first moon rover. Because so, we're going to score breakthroughs. So I need, mm -hmm. to, I need to have somebody out there. Um, so I get to put an agency out on... Planets. Planetary exploration. Yep. And then I get to take one card from out here... Who do I want? Which one guy. does that? What's that? Uh, it's my other breakthrough card. Mm, okay, yeah. yeah, put it in your lab. Yep. All right, so that's cool. Goes there. That's um, it. Um, that's it. All right, bureaucracy is. You're first. No, you didn't get any cards for out here, right? Um. No. No, no because that's full. Oops. Mm. Stupid rocket. <laughs> um, that's full. I didn't do. Yeah, I didn't do any of those. Okay. So now, um, reverse order. So if dedicated, I'm not dedicated. Um, if dedicated, I'm not dedicated. So I have to be dedicated to use any yep. of my. And yep. you? Um, so I can put a guy on the launch pad, or I can move around my guys out there. Mm -hmm. Which we're tied, so we're both going to get points there. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not like, I'm not going to do anything. I'll just put a guy out here on the launch pad. That's smart. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So then we go to scoring mm -hmm. the, the mission, mm -hmm. and we're going to do Projects. A close of the first project. And this is going to score it because we completed it. So you're going to get two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. A Finally, some points. points on the board yeah. here. And I'm going to score one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Right? And that project is now closed. Yep. Now we open the next project, and it is a space mirror. Mm. So this is. Um, Astronauts for the every tech level teal symbols. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, then we'll score our breakthrough area. Right. Yeah. So once we're breakthrough zones. with two yeah. players, it's only gonna be three points per area majority. So I'm mm -hmm. gonna get three, six, nine, and you're gonna get three because we're yeah. tied. Eight, nine. Right, okay. We're we're close. All right. All right. And then that closes this, mm -hmm. and we are on to the next. On to the next. So. One for you, one for me. Oh, man. I like this card. You like him? 
Is yeah. that my favorite card? Did you look? Is it my favorite card? You know who No, it there's is. only one card in the game that we both really like. Yeah, this dude is amazing. I hope he comes out. <laughs> well, I do too. Um, let's see. What are we doing? Oh, interesting. Yeah, so you have to keep in mind what's what's coming up, right? Because that's where you're going to really leverage points. Yeah, so what we're doing, our scoring next round, or this current round is going to be based on our banners or mm -hmm. our agency progress or however they, they articulate it um our development so times two so instead of getting like oh and we, by the way we didn't score that last round i don't think what's that we oh did, we didn't we, because we, did we physically didn't score we did not score in other that. missions you score that every single time yep so yeah so yeah <clears throat> let me see what i've got i need to know What I've got here. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> um, I'm going to put out... I'll put out this card. Yeah? Yeah. Because I know what I want to do here. You do? Mm -hmm. I don't. I got that. All right. Are you done? Not yet. No. Oh. No, but I mean, like, are you done putting cards in here? Because we have three, so. Oh, I'm not done putting. Yeah, I'm done putting cards in. Yeah, sorry, like we sorry, need sorry. to see what cards. Yeah, yeah. So first. draw one. Put one out. And then we'll see. Oh, breakthrough. It's a secret project. It's not a breakthrough. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a propaganda. Project. Was that a slip? <laughs> uh, you may exchange this card with any card in hand. Secret project. That's, that's interesting. Kind of lame. No, that's that's actually no, that's really exchanging good, actually. it from your tableau. Oh yes, it's a secret to project. To put a good yeah, card yeah, yeah. out. That's mm. that's amazing, actually. That changes everything. Hmm. Mm hmm. Changes everything and nothing. <laughs> um, all right, I'll go with this one. I should probably. do yeah I'm gonna do this okay all right ready. so bring the rest of those out okay so we've got a Hubble Space Telescope and we've got LHC mm. okay okay ready? yeah all right we're both doing tech yep all right so you are first because I, I brought out first, zero tech out <laughs> look at my zero tech guy he's like I don't even know what to draw <laughs> <Yeah>. man. <laughs> He has no clue what's happening. He's just like, I don't even know. Right, so I'm going to take this guy. <laughs> of course you are. Well, it's the only one that's going to score for me. Oh, that's what I wanted, though. <laughs> I don't want any of this other junk. It's space so, junk. Uh, I do get to draw two cards with this. Uh, and that's it. Oh, my goodness. These are really strong cards. We don't have any cards and in investments. Mm -mm. Great. Yeah, the, the thing about this is that you can draw from the universe any tech card into your agency or from the investment section you can draw any card. Mm -hmm. but there are no investments yeah. cards. So now I've got to take this hunk of junk. Nobody wants that. Falcon 9 space rocket? Well, you don't have to take that card. You can take any card from your space agency, it says. What? A any card. No, I can't. No, it's any card. Oh. It's, it's any card from the unit. Because normally it's like take a tech card, right? Mm. But it's asterisk. So the asterisk is any card from this area or 
any card from investments, mm. but there are zero cards in investments. Yeah. So I, yes, I have to take this the falcon garbage design. falcon. So there he is. But I do get to immediately put a card from my hand into the investments or cover this card. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm doing that because I've just got so many cards to spare. Oh, look, it's another Falcon 9 rocket. I'll just oh, put that in investment. Fund it with itself. <laughs> Fund it with its own self. All right, so you get to do bureaucracy first, actually. You say that like you're so excited. Um, actually, I get to do other stuff, too, mm. uh, because I did play a tech card. Mm. So don't, uh, don't sell me short here. Mm. I get to do a few things. So my one action is I get to move people around. I'm going to move this guy right there. Mm. Um, and I also get to place an astronaut out here because I played a tech card. Mm, so did I, actually. So mine right, goes well, out. Why don't you do first. that first? One, and I played a card with a one on it. So I got one here as well. So I'll go here and here. Okay. So back to my turn. Um, I will go here. And I didn't play anything with teal banners, so I can't put anything there. Um, all right. So that's it. Bureaucracy, I don't have any. I do, but I'm, I'm not dedicated. This one is, uh, I have to put one in the investments. Or you lose it. Or put that yeah. card back in, oh, in the, the universe. universe. Okay. Back to the universe with you. So we're going to put that one in the investments. Okay. It's just a cost of maintenance, yes. right? So now we're going to do... Close this one mm -hmm. and open this one. Yeah. So we're going to open up the, uh, the something Sputnik. <laughs> ah, so that's every time you put an astronaut here. Mm -hmm. Place or move or one. Or move, yeah. Yeah, you put one there. Okay. That one's pretty cool. We haven't seen that one yet. Um, you are going to get... Six. Six points. One. Times two, 12. Two. Right, right. Oh, no, it's not no, times two. That's Just not six. times two. That's, that's our... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, and that's our... Banner scoring. I'm going to get six as well. So the Pioneer right. program has been completed. All right. And now we're going to score double times. Yeah, big four points for me. So I'm going to well, get actually, yeah, two, three, you're going to score four, first. Eight points. Of course you are. Because you took my mirror space station. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. Three, six points. Why? Because it was the blue banner. Two, yeah. three, six points. I counted the oh. reds. Oh, you were looking at... I was looking down here. I see, I see. One, two, three. Six and I'm gonna get four. One, two, three, four. It's still tight. That's very yeah. tight. Okay. okay. Um, and that's it for the scoring. All right. Cool. And on to the on next to the round. next. Here, let's do this. Get my card. Get yours. Get my card. Let's take a look. Okay. All right. How many are you putting out? Oh, crap. The thing that drives me crazy about this game is that, like, there's benefits on the cards that you want to put out, but you have to, like, put them out, obtain them, and then you can get the benefits listed on the card. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I thought I knew what I was going to do, and now I don't. It's all to say. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Okay. I think that's all I'm putting out. Well, I have to look at these. Hold on. Let's see what my... What your options are? Do. Yeah. I mean, I still... F I s ugh, fudge. I'm going to gamble here. Are you? This is a really strong gamble. Is it? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Uh, uh, see, it's like, and then you got like this card. It's like, okay, your abilities are strong. Are one card stronger? Mm -hmm. But it's not on any of the cards that I want to play. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this isn't great. I don't know. I guess. Right. 
I'm doing that. And I'm gambling too, just mm -hmm. so you know. <laughs> just so you're aware. Okay. All right. Oh, wait, we didn't bring out a card yet. Oh, all right. Bring so one out. So you may want to change your card you're bringing up. You aren't? Mm -mm. I'm happy about what I'm bringing out. Oh, <gasps> really? Well, that changes everything. Does it? Yes. Yeah. Well, not really. <clears throat> um... He's no more powerful than a lot of the other ones. He's not. The thing is, he was really powerful. Like, one game we played, he was really powerful for me. At the time. At the time. Right. Which is how a lot of these things work. Where it's mm -hmm. like, could be really good. Could also be not great. Okay. So I will, um, I, I'm going to, I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay with what I was going to do. Because right, I have, other, uh, I have. Cards out. Oh. Where did I put them? Oops. There were two more. There they are. No, they're right here. So okay. I only had one left. Okay. okay. Uh, we have Valentina. Valentina. <laughs> Valentia. <laughs> Tersh And oh, we have Elon all, Wow, it's all leaders. All leaders. Yeah. Man. Oh, yeah, and you already have a leader. I do. Yeah. You uh, which I could replace with another one. Okay. But so what are you going to do? I'm curious. Well, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to Breakthrough. Oh, and your breakthrough is That's wow. okay, because I, I figured I wasn't going to get anything, so okay. I'm only doing that for my own personal other reasons. Okay. Oh, to, to score? Yeah. Okay, so either way, I wanted him, just because... Yeah, and who is he? For those of you who can't I don't, see I don't, I don't remember his name exactly. I know, he's the ancient aliens guy. Right, he's a very he's a Greek With last this name. hair. I know, I can't Stavakalis? Stavakalis? Something. Yeah, but he's on Ancient Aliens, yeah. and... He's definitely my favorite character on Ancient World, well, so favorite cool. like scientist, yeah. um, if you will. So I definitely wanted to add him to my tableau because of that. He, it made you so bitter because I got him that one game and you like I were so sad. I wanted it, yeah, and I just could not, <laughs> I could not get him. So uh, instantly I can put two astronauts onto the pad with uh -huh. him. That's his ability. Yeah. Um, and that's it. But I do trigger all my reds, so I'm going to be able to put a card from out here mm -hmm. into my... Two, actually. One. Your mirror. Mirror space station. Oh, that one does as well. Oh, so two cards. Mm. You son of a... <laughs> what did I do? This table's about to go flying across the room. I know it weighs like... 700 pounds or something, but I'm about to chuck it through our fully finished basement wall. <laughs> I had no idea if they were worth it or not. That's okay. Um, <laughs> we'll talk about it. I get to bring one... You just gave me back for the, all the angst, <laughs> the angst you had in our last playthrough. I get to put an astronaut in Man in Space because of first man in space. I think that is what you're doing. Are you trying to make me feel all the hurt that you had <laughs> when I crushed you last time? <laughs> so I put a guy out here. I get to put a guy here. Um, I'll put him here. And actually, I put two guys here, so I get to put two more out here as well. I can't believe you took Elon Musk. I didn't know you were going to go for him. I put him out. Oh, did I, I don't yes. know what you put out. <laughs> it's, it's a deck of cards. All right, I'm done. All right. Well, I don't even know what I'm going to do now. Um, actually, you know what I could do? <clears throat> I'll do this. This will be good, I guess. Well, no, we're already done that scoring, aren't we? Because um, I have no breakthrough, so I can take from space programs. Mm -hmm. Um... I can do this, I guess. Hmm. Right? Mm hmm So, we'll do that. That's it. No, but you trigger everything in your... Yeah, I know. Blow, okay, so I'm going to... I take two... This is the only reason I played this card, mm -hmm. by the way. Two... This is half your initiative rounded up. So that's actually still one. I'll give you one, yeah. 
Well, half of, these, of zero is still is zero. zero. Rounded up is one. Zero yeah. is not a number. Okay. It's it's not a real number. Ask any math person. <laughs> no question. Two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Six cards into your into my lab from here. Yes. Into your lab. That's crazy. See, that just wipes. That's the board. um. It does, and that's the only reason I played that card because I'm sort of building this red banner thing. Mm -hmm. So I will just take. Um, mm. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. That's brutal. <laughs> you take Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's it. Uh, okay. So then we go to bureaucracy. And you then first. I have to. I, do I continue to pay? No, this gets covered up. No, that's, like I already no, no, that's an that. instant thing. It only happens once. Yeah. Yep. But then this gets covered up now that I use it. Correct. Her. Falcon 9 Rocket. Yep. Yeah, Falcon. you don't have to figure yep. that again. But you have no bureaucracy? I do not have bureaucracy, no. All right, so if dedicated, uncover this, but it's not covered. If dedicated, I may move a guy to the planets. So I can move a guy here. Mm -hmm. um, I have to pay a card to the agency. Yeah, to keep that mirror space keep station. keep that in focus. Uh, pay to the investments, rather. If dedicated, I may move mm -hmm. a guy to aliens. Mm -hmm. And that's it. All right, cool. All right, so we score. So we're going to close. Close this project. Not going to oh. score. Which is not going to score. I wasn't finished. up here? No, you were down oh, here. I was down here. Ah, uh, okay, no points. Yeah. That's beat. We were so close. Um, but that's it. And then we just Which, score. Um, what was it actually? Was it tech? Mm. Oh, actually, we did finish it because I played Hubble Space Telescope, which is a rocket ship. Right. So it did finish. So I finished with a guy here. And I was one, two, three. Yeah. Where was I? I was here and here. And you had, did I give you one back? I was here. You were here and here. Yes. And I was, oh no, we didn't finish it because I was here. So mm -hmm. my next guy would have had to go here. So we still no, you just there. have to finish the top. It doesn't matter where they are I know, behind it. But I was here. Oh, you would have had, had to go, to go in the there. empty spot. Do you yeah. See what I mean? Okay. So no, we didn't, no, we didn't finish, finish it. it. Okay. Um, so then that's that, and then yep. you get double points for for labs. labs. Yeah, that's yeah. huge. How many labs do you have? I've got two. Okay, so you get four points. Whoa, wrong guy. Oops. One, two. <laughs> wrong guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's Sixteen, 16 points, points in labs. That's nuts. Two, Six, 1985, 96. Wow, that's so many points. Boom, shut it down. All right. Cool. All right. Grab a card. Universe. Hmm. What are we doing? Yikes, we're repopulating this universe, hopefully. <laughs> well, let's get some cards out. And we can do this. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. okay. I'll put two cards out there because I know we need... I'll put one out. We need cards. You put them out? Uh, yeah, so okay. shuffle them up, grab one. Looking at my... My moves Your here. Slim pickings. Yeah, I'm running out of running out of stuff. Area buy. 51. Oh, nice. <gasps> That's a good one. Mm. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, that's good. I like that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's like hard to, it's hard to tell because there's not that much out, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, hmm. See, this is where, this is where I feel like 
this is a little bit should I play the broken move? Mm, go ahead. <laughs> Can I play the broke the it's broken mm -hmm. move? Okay. Here's the it's broken strategy. I right, put the rest okay. of the cards out. Okay, we've got Yang Li Wei. Cape Canaveral. Mm. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. And Carl Sagan. Mm. There you go. All right. What are you playing? I am playing technology. Playing Breakthrough Six. Oh, you can do it again and pull all the cards. Breakthrough that's okay six. because you don't score double for labs anymore. What's right? that? It's only one big lab scoring. So even though you're pulling all the lab cards, it's not terrible. Yeah. It's kind of a trade off. Mm -hmm. So I think. Well, I was doing it. The, the only reason, the other reason I played it is because there's no breakthroughs. Right. So it's a way for me to get like other stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. While still triggering Let's these draw. things. So I'm going to draw two cards and that's it. Your turn. Okay. So again, I played breakthrough. There's no breakthroughs. Mm hmm. Um, so I can go up to here, so I can take Cape Canaveral, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, now this does have one teal banner, mm -hmm. so I can do... Oh, sorry. I guess? Yeah, okay, no, go ahead. I can do teal banner stuff? Yep. See, I wanted Area 51. Can I put that out? You took all my good cards this time. Why are you doing that? Oh, shoot, I forgot. I get to put in a guy here. And that earns me a guy here. Mm. Um, and then I trigger these. So, see, and this doesn't work out actually for me anyway because I take more cards from the universe than are out there. So do I take them from the deck? Mm -mm. I just don't get to take them? You take what you can. Is that a fact? One, yeah, two, so there's absolutely no way three, you're going to take them from. Because yeah. I should have taken five. So you get three cards. I think that's the, uh, the rub, right? I guess. Okay. So, do you have any bureaucracy? No. Nope. Oh, I go first with that. So, I am dedicated. So, I may move a guy to the globe, or I may move a guy to the alien heads. Mm-hmm. So, if I move him to the globe, then mm -hmm. I can move him to where I already have one. Mm-hmm. Here. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. And I have to pay again for my mere space station. Mm-hmm. With a mere space station. Yeah. Actually, that goes back into the universe. Mm. So now, I also get one more dude because I moved. Yeah. That. Uh, no, I have to pay the investments. If I don't pay, then my mirror goes in the... I'm paying for my mirror station. Oh, you're paying for it with, with the, the ICD. Okay, I thought yeah. you were just getting rid of it. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. No, that's Are it. you done? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you done? I have no bureaucracy, so yeah, I'm done. Okay, so we're scoring this, which mm -hmm. is not scoring, because we never finish it. This is a tough one. See, this sucks. I should have, I should have waited on that. I'm just like a step ahead of myself. Mm. All right. And then we score breakthroughs. So you're gonna get what? Twenty Nine points. Twelve points. Sorry. Oh 12. wow, they're four points each. Yeah. Sixteen points. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they went up. Um, 93, Three, so 2003. 2003. Yep. And I get nothing. And okay. that's it. All right, and this project, you close that project, yep, that flips, right? Okay. And then we are on to the last round. Okay. Okay, take your cards. So this final round is going to score everything. Yeah, um, with no multipliers, it's just going to score Everything. Ever, just everything. <laughs> just everything. So you're going to want to get cards out that uh, yeah. are going to do... Do things for you. As much as you can do. Yeah, like I have to actually look at my... What do I have left here to see what... See, now it stinks. I don't have... Because my... I was around ahead of myself because I was thinking... I have a card that lets me take back one of my control cards that I've played. Mm -hmm. um, and I was going to play my breakthrough six and then take it back and play it again so we could score at the end but i was again around ahead of my or around i guess behind 
so that's not going to be helpful at all because I would have loved to scoop those points. Yeah, and again, you're left with sort of like, all right, I'm going to put stuff in the in the universe, but you're not necessarily going to get to use the benefits of those cards mm -hmm. because you're going to play a card that doesn't have the same banner as the card that you're trying to pick up. Yep. You know what I mean? So I don't even know, like, what. Yeah, because there's, there's nothing out there. Yeah, it's like, I don't even know what to do. I don't. I feel like I kind of need to keep these in case I need to get rid of cards. So, so what, do we have three out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to put any out there. Another mm. Cape Canaveral. Hey, <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? I mean, it might make sense for me to play this. It's like not knowing what's going to come out. Do you play something lower? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Thinking maybe you'll grab something that you can trigger. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I get it. Are you with me? I'm with you. It's tough. That's so tough. I guess I'll do this. Okay. Um, here we go. We've got Sputnik Space Program. And wow, signal breakthrough. <laughs> it's a guy who I guess got like an extraterrestrial signal. Yeah, it's like amazing. He's like, what? Okay, what'd you play? I played Breakthrough. All right, and I played Space Program. You go first. I got no. Breakthrough cards left, so... Alright, well, I guess I'm taking Sputnik 2. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Actually, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. So, um, what is this? Let's see. So, the asterisk here is... Take a card from the deck or your hand and put it in your hand or your lab. Mm -hmm. And if it's a, and if a space it's program... And if it's a space program card, you again. may do it again. That's actually pretty good. That's great. So I will do that. I'll take Skylab, which mm -hmm. is a from my hand. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in my lab. Mm -hmm. um, and what's funny is actually my ability on my space program five card is that all of these abilities on all of my cards are one card stronger. Mm. So I actually get to do this twice. Mm. Um, so for my second, I'll take a card into my hand. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, the first one was a one of these, so mm -hmm. I can do this again for mm -hmm. another two. Yeah, I agree. So, again, I don't have... I guess I'll take... Well, no, I'll just put both of these in my lap that's, then. That's what I yeah. would do, yeah. Boom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I can trigger these. Mm -hmm. So, again, I can... Take a card from my hand, put it in the lab. I can draw a card into my hand. Mm. But I can't draw a card and put it in my lab. Mm -hmm. That's what I can't do. So, mm -hmm. no. That's worth two, because every card... Oh, two. Yeah, you're right. Worth two. So, so you can I can draw, draw one, one. And then put it in your lab. And then I can put it in my lab. There you Boom. go. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. So then I'll just take the wow signal. <laughs> wow. Just puts a guy out <laughs> in the aliens. Yay. Where you already have lots of people. <laughs> yeah, so I get to take two cards from the universe where there's only one mm -hmm. and put it in my lab. 
my weak lab. We didn't do a lot of lab research. No, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. You were doing breakthroughs. I was just sitting there like in the lab, not doing breakthroughs. Yeah, not breaking anything through. Not breaking anything. All right, so all of my stuff is just moving things around, all my uh, bureaucracy except for paying okay. for my right. mere telescope. And I have, no, uh, I have no bureaucracy to deal with either. Right, so. so then we're just going to score. Okay. So cool. this project completes. Yep. And I you score get all the points. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. That's great. So I completed One, two, the Dnepropetrovsk Sputnik. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so that score, okay. we score bands. All right. Agency, so what so do you got? I've got three, four for purple. Four for purple, and I've got one, two, three, four. So we score four each. All right. Now we score labs. Mm -hmm. so I get a whopping three points. Okay. Fifteen. So that'll catch me up. Holy moly. Uh, 2015. 15. Okay. But you're going to jump ahead with this. So. With 12 Seven. points. Yeah. 2031. That still right. wasn't that bad. Yeah. I'm not satisfied. No. This looks like the game we had last night, but opposite. Yeah. Kind of. Except I was like almost off the map with points. You actually were down here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually... Right. Yeah, up here. You were. Well, let's in um, let's go talk about. It. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. There's our space race. The race is over. <laughs> I didn't even make it to the to the current era. Well, it wouldn't have been historically accurate if you won this game. Right? I guess is that why we had to play it so many times? We had to because <laughs> NASA had to be the front runner here. <laughs> Um, we have several plays of this game mm -hmm. under our belt, um, and one of the reasons I think we were kind of determined to keep playing it is because we found that the experience kind of changed as we were playing. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, from like game to game to game, we were starting to notice certain things, um, and we really wanted to see that through yeah. for our for our little chat we're gonna have with you now. So. Okay. Um, so let's uh, let's talk about your expectations with this mm -hmm. and kind of how the game met. Those expectations are where it where it went. Well, I think I think expectation wise, when you when you hear of these space race type games, I think of a lot of other space agency games. Yeah, that yeah. Played. Uh, I think Leaving Earth is one um, mm -hmm. that always comes to mind. Right. Um, Lift Off is another one that comes. Yeah, to Yeah, that's so, the one we played recently. Yeah, yeah. So there's a number of different sort of mm -hmm. agency games where right. you're, you're racing to get out. So this one isn't really more. This is one isn't really about getting to a planet. Right, or, or right. actually breaking atmosphere and launching rockets into space, like so many others are. This right. one is more, I guess, just macro agency, more about um, government, I would call it government influence, but more or less yeah. it's what it is. It's really like government influence on the space agencies for each of the nations in their race to further their program. Yeah. Not specifically looking at any one particular right. thing. Right. And I will say that, that cause, because that was one of the things that we picked out of this at first mm -hmm. was like this is not your standard at the end of the game wow look at this great tableau that I made right. isn't it an awesome agency it's doing all the things that I wanted to do mm -hmm. um, this is not like that no. so every round you are just trying to look at what's what kind of is the priority mm. how can I maximize my my points or my scoring right. based on that priority and you're sort of left with this kind of don't really know how we got here sort of situation. Yeah. However, um, as a government employee myself, <laughs> I can say that this definitely reflects kind of the fluid nature of priorities and competing priorities and mm -hmm. political pressures and things like that in a government agency. Right. Um, so that piece, that I well. think it does that well. It does it very well. <laughs> um, but with, with that, that also adds its own frustration yes, because yeah. you're you're sort of at the mercy mm -hmm. of your control card, which is right. really your agenda. Yeah. It is in what your agency is looking for in that phase or that mm -hmm. year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I think that one of the things from an expectations standpoint that stood out to me is that there is actually, if you play this the way it's intended to be played, the way that, that I believe this is intended to be played, there actually is a lot of kind of cutthroat yeah, take that There is. Um, and we're not, we're not huge like take that gamers. Uh, and I don't think that this was like necessarily a cutthroat 
playthrough. I mean, you saw a couple times where like, there's a card out there in the universe, you really want it. Um, but you, if you really want it, you kind of have to go for it. Mm -hmm. But going for it might mean giving up what you actually need to do responsibly to make points that turn or something. So right. just from a thematic standpoint, it's a little disappointing because it's like, oh, well, I would have loved to get like Elon Musk into my, you know, collection or something mm -hmm. into my agency, just kind of like living this sort of theme. Mm. And you don't get to do that. No, you don't. You don't really get to like build a story. You, if you do, you can. Game, you, well, but you you'll can. lose. Well, exactly. You will. Like, and, and I, that's where <laughs> I usually trip up because I like to build an engine for yeah, a story. And I right. like to sort of live and experience my, I guess, whatever I'm taking yeah, charge of right. for that game, uh, whatever agency it is. But yeah. this, and that's why I lose so much because I, I'm like, oh, I want, I, I got to get Elon Musk in here because right. I'm a private company and I'm not yeah. actually NASA and all them. So, which you could be in this game. Yeah. And, I'll do that and then I'll suffer for it because it doesn't fit yeah, because with it, what it I need to do for, for the points. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think that that's like where it kind of got lost from a theme standpoint because you're you're playing through the ages kind of, mm -hmm. like, well, you know, through the through the eras, but thing like but your your universe cards aren't coming out connecting with those eras and I guess again me trying to want to like wanting to make things that like 10 times more complicated than they need to be. Right. I'm like, well, wouldn't it be cool if like, as you worked through the different ages, now you're able to access different cards that mm -hmm. are actually part of that, you know, they're more, they're more right. powerful yeah. and yeah, this doesn't, building this kind of exponential engine. Doesn't build that's not that. this game. At all. At, at all. all. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. not the point, but you can't even like yeah. hold it up to that yeah, kind of Yeah, and you don't, you don't like progress in technology right. levels either. No, like, There's yeah. none of that progression. Yeah. It's more or less just living year to year or phase to phase within the mission. Yeah. To optimize each right. leg of the game. Yeah. Right. So that being said, this is intended to be a relatively quick playing, very macro experience, mm -hmm. little bit of, um, I would say like player interaction, but sort of abstract player interaction where I'm going to take the cards that you want. I'm seeing that you're going for this. I'm going to try to go for that. Yeah. Maybe if you're one of those players that likes to study like what other players have, like, okay, well, you know, what are your... Uh, I know you're playing as NASA, okay, I know yeah. you have this many cards and this many, you know, this much influence yeah. in certain areas and mm -hmm. stuff. If you're that kind of player, you probably really dig this. Yeah. Um, a couple of things that we noticed were a little bit, I guess, I don't want to say like unbalanced, but some, some strategy, like loopholes, I guess, that we found that could probably be exploited um, to not make this a super fun experience. Mm -hmm. One being the... Um, the breakthrough tracker i think at least with the two of us yeah. and with the ai and we didn't play with with AI, the ai for this play and we because we we thought it would be great to show you how the ai plays with two but we honestly we weren't really seeing the yeah and he he really just influence he just cheats much. with points anyway does, most yeah. of the time yeah it's not like it doesn't it, make sense and a lot of it's so. randomized yeah. so it really doesn't <clears throat> create this like it just creates a point pressure barrier on right. you and that's all it does and brings out more cards because again it, they're it representing another cards. player so right. but uh, but another player that doesn't really have a strategy yeah they're just like trying to get points randomly right. uh, and throwing more guys out on the breakthrough tracker periodically so it's not and then also adding to projects you know mm -hmm. what i mean so it does add a bit of that so it helps you finish projects it, it fills stuff out without really adding pressure to the game from a competitor standpoint. Right. Like the AI always loses when we play. Typically, yeah. yeah. Unless they get a, just a string of, right. of cards that happen to yeah. you know, crush you in points because their lab is overflowing. Well, right? which is why this AI doesn't play with this particular mission because right. we've got multipliers on things that just don't Right, and he always AI gets a double stuff. multiplier on agency scoring. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's kind of like this makes him weaker, I think. Right. So, because it gives us the chance to double score certain things yeah. uh, at certain points. But in any case, mm -hmm. uh, I think as far as like the game, like just the, the presentation, the components, yeah. the art, the cards, yeah. all of that stuff, I think is, is top notch. Absolutely. Right? Yes. The board itself looks simple, but it more than makes up for it in the art and the cards. I, I actually really like the board mm -hmm. being a blueprint because I think, yeah. again, it, it leans into the theme, yeah. it's clean, and then it makes everything kind of pop yeah. off the board. 
because again the art in this and the iconography is very sleek it's very easy to understand and it's really really pretty yeah i think the the rockets are a bit much we didn't need to go <laughs> with these enormous rockets i like them i, I think, think they're, they're okay they, they just fall you can knock them down they don't so really easily. fit on the track the other ones okay. are a lot smaller they're than very the ones, very small which yeah. again it, it, it's that's fine too yeah i think even wooden meeple rockets would have been cool would have been fine yeah. yeah um because it's not you're not really focusing on those you're really focusing on the cards and i think that's where this yeah. game really shines mm -hmm. um, um, and it should because it is a it is a card game. Right, it's right. It's a tableau building game, mm -hmm. um, and you're you're triggering a lot of actions based on the, the symbols on these cards. Now the symbology is, at first, is overwhelming. Right. But once you learn it, it's not too bad at all. Actually. Yeah, I don't think I think it's actually very intuitive once yeah. you once you understand. It was the like, hardest part to learn about the, the game. The syntax yeah. of the iconography and then once you, once it clicks it's like okay, it's that makes very very sense. straightforward so yeah. the more you play this game the easier the game gets to mm -hmm. play but the the more you start to see some of the the strategies that you can string together because they're mm -hmm. definitely not a, not you know um obvious at first yeah because there right. is a lot of depth to the way you can manipulate the way cards are coming out you'll start right. to get used to Space program cards tend to lean towards this, uh -huh. where breakthrough cards give you a lot more of this. Right. Um, some games, though, what we've run into is that you're 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 running into a drought of certain types of cards. Yeah. Uh, breakthroughs, for example, mm -hmm. breakthroughs will give you astronauts for the tracker for the area yeah. control track, and that's where you get a ton of points in some right. of the some of the missions. And in some games, they just don't come out. It's funny, actually. This game, I think, was the first game that we actually had breakthroughs come out a lot. On, on a very regular basis. It's the most crowded I've ever seen the breakthrough track yeah, in any of our games. Yeah, it's never been like this. And but, typically, it'll be like, we end up with, like, maybe we're split area control-wise, mm -hmm. or one of us has, like, one guy in each segment or yeah. something. And it's like... That wouldn't be enough for area control right. if you're playing with a bunch of people or if you had a bunch of breakthroughs coming out, which if you're playing with more people, you're going to be going through the deck and a lot more cards are going to be coming out. A lot more cards are coming out, out yeah. Um, so with two, even with the AI, you're just not burning enough cards, I don't think, I don't to think get so. to yeah. the breakthroughs, which are going to put people out on the tracker, which is a huge portion of your... Point scoring, it's a I think, bunch so. of points, yeah. And, and the difference in the missions we've learned is some missions lean more through towards breakthroughs. Mm -hmm. Some missions lean yeah. more towards your agency points. Right, right. Some lean more towards your labs. Right. Like yeah. that's how it, it, it changes. I think the was it the Vostok yeah. something mission. Um, I think was more lab based. Is, is that or breakthroughs? Because there's just more scoring of that type of event. Right. In the the missions. Yeah. Um, the the generic one mm -hmm. is the, the Mercury. Mercury mission, which is just it's just a little of everything. So yeah. you can kind of go and just do your own thing. Uh -huh. uh, but again, a lot of the points come out in the breakthroughs, I mm -hmm. think. And that's where if you can own that track the entire game, you'll right. probably win. Yeah, it's it's breakthroughs and I think it's, it's a laps. little bit overpowered, I think, points-wise. Yeah. I think you should scale the points back a little bit. Right. Because I think you could, like, if you just own that track because mm -hmm. you're the only one getting those cards, right. you, know, you could score 12 points a round. Yeah, well, like I said, the, game that, the game that we played, we actually filmed this as many games that we filmed. We filmed yeah. it and then we decided to film it again because we didn't feel like the playthrough really reflected how the game could be played. And yeah. we played it with the AI and and again I had I had gone with the breakthrough and I pretty much had a what's funny is I pretty much had exactly the hand that you have. Similar with it was similar with You had a lot, a lot of the more lab manipulation. And I also had a ton of labs. Yeah. So like I kind of exploited both mm -hmm. because I did this where I built out this breakthrough ribbon mm -hmm. and I was able to just wipe up all the cards. Yeah. And then also I went to the breakthroughs. The AI had only, you know, was only really putting out enough to to kind of fill the board but not really take, not enough to compete. Not to really compete. Yeah. Um, and I had um, I had a card that allowed me to stand up or put down a an astronaut like every single round yeah so every t every time he would put one out i just lay him down you know what I mean? and it weakens it yeah, so it weakens, it weakens it. So, for the ties. um anyway there there were a couple of things like that where if you can get those cards out it's like you're guaranteed win mm -hmm. and i the when we discover those kinds of strategies i'm always like Ugh, because when i play a game i mean i play for fun but like you you want to, I mean, I don't know. You're you not going to sit there and like... You don't want to win by you don't hurting the win other by, person. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So like you start to have these cards come out and you're like, oh, this is the card that's going to get me the game. Do yeah, I, you so know I'll what just I mean? lay what down do? all your astronauts and just take all yeah. the, the majority. <laughs> so it's like it's like kicking over somebody's yeah. castle, which is, we, we don't right. enjoy that part of the game, yeah. right? So that's, so 
but we know a lot of you love this yeah, sort well, of do. meaty, yeah. and it's right. not like so cutthroat. It's no. just enough to kind of dig mm -hmm. at somebody. Yeah. And if you like that in your gameplays, like this has that in space. Right. Well, and and I think if you're looking, if you have a larger group to play with, and you're you're you want to spend lots of plays with this game, which we certainly did. Mm -hmm. I mean, this isn't something. I mean, I, again, if we had played this twice, yeah. and did a playthrough, we probably would have had a very different feel for it or a different review. Sure. Um, but having played it, you know almost you know almost 10 times or whatever a lot yeah. it's like we kind of understand the strategies and stuff now so we can sort of speak to those things a little bit more and you will probably have that same experience learning these game learning the strategies yeah. and, and things like that yeah. so um anyway yeah there's a lot of so the so bottom line is I think there's a lot of game to offer here <laughs> yes and it's in a, a very beautiful package absolutely um we definitely enjoyed the thinky puzzly mm -hmm. of it yeah um and the the change to the standard um Tableau builder yeah. that we're so used to, right. which I think is, which is, think really makes this shine. Uh -huh. uh, I think the theme is cool as hell. I yeah. like it a lot. I like it a lot too. I mean, um, we're, we're always into space. And yeah, I like so we the, enjoy this one. The way it took. The one bit one we bit. didn't really love about it was just the whole, um, sort of the, the take thattiness of mm -hmm. it in stealing somebody's cards. Um, or initially, uh, when mm -hmm. you when you're like pushing somebody off the breakthrough tracker, or you're jumping ahead and finishing a project ahead of them, right? Yeah, you know, and, and taking scooping up all those points, like those are right. just kind of like real stabby. Well, I'm going to take your points when you're not having the cards come out because yeah. of the fact that you're playing with maybe less people. So. Yeah, if you're so that's the other thing. I'm actually very excited. We've not played this with like four humans. No, we haven't. And I'm excited to play it with more people. I would love to, to see how it, how it feels. It plays, if it I feels different. That, because so. with more people, you can spread the hate a little bit wider. Yeah. And you can cast right. that net just out there. Yeah, and it doesn't right. feel as intentional mm -hmm. as when you're playing with one person and you're and they're the only target of every bad move you have. Right. And that's where this one kind of gets a little diggy. Right. But that's I think that's the one piece that we weren't like in yes. love with but everything else is great right so agreed there okay. you go i hope that sums it all up i think so yeah cool sure. so we hope you enjoyed this playthrough um we will as usual lock the first comment mm -hmm. please click thumbs up if this video helps you make the decision as to whether or not to purchase this game yeah. and add it to your collection right all right and i think that about ends this playthrough. i think that sums it up so. all right so <laughs> thank you for watching we hope you enjoyed the video see you next time we'll see you